everyone, Lexi here, and today I have my big box uh, for November. Um, I also received the uh, product that was broken in my last babe box. So if you watched my last babe box video, I unfortunately had an item that was shattered. Uh, it literally took them till now to get it to me. And I don't know if they were just waiting for the next box to come so that they didn't have to ship it twice, which I understand you want to save money on shipping. But I had requested for this broken item to be fixed literally a month and a half ago and that's kind of disappointing to me because I know like with Ipsy and BoxyCharm or anything like that if I have something broken they immediately send me out a replacement no matter what so it's a little off-putting for a new box um, I know it's something small and not that big of a deal but it is also like I've been waiting forever for this and it makes me not want to use it <laughs> but I finally got it fixed so I'm gonna open up this and we're going to see how this will turn out okay I got it out of the bag the box is a little I know it's hard to see but it's a little dented but so I'm really hoping that nothing is broken in this one because if something's broken in this one too I am gonna be extremely upset <laughs> and I know that has nothing to do with like the box it's a matter of shipping but it's a little too much so obviously a comment card that says everything that's in the box. Here's how it looks. It has the little sticker and everything. I like the touch of like this purple confetti. It reminds me of Easter. <laughs> so I'm just going to take everything out of this box. Okay, so there were five items in that box. And I made sure to go through all the little paper too just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So right off the bat, I do see this mud masky item, and this is a Lead Me On Winter Mask. Um, I have received um, a product from the mud masking line. I don't think it was a winter mask. I'm pretty sure it was like an after mask mask or like serum or something. So I'm kind of excited to try this out because immediately when I see like winter mask, um, you know, we're getting into cooler weather, um, colder depending on where you live, but I live in Florida, so we don't get cool like cold weather we just get like this cool humid annoying weather but um for those of you who don't know i don't know if i've said this in other videos but i have eczema uh, so my skin gets really really bad especially during the winter times when it gets cold or a below a certain temperature i love it personally but my skin gets super itchy for anyone who has eczema or knows about eczema you know how awful it is so i'm hoping i can find something that's moisturizing and nice to the skin without you know drying me or over moisturizing me you know xyz it's it's a nightmare <laughs> uh this is the is it basi or basi beauty I apologize to this makeup brand. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but what's new? This is the Bronzy AF Bronzer fi Bronzer Palette in Snatural Cinnamon and Bad and Bronzy. I like how <laughs> it goes from Snatural to Cinnamon. I mean, that's still really cool. I like this Bronzer Palette. It's pretty. It would have been funny if it smelled like cinnamon. That would have been a nice, funny touch. This is still pretty. This is still really cute. Kind of basic packaging, but I like the pink. It's cute. I like the names. Another bronzer palette. Super fun. This is the LES uh, Lower East Side Eyeshadow. Um, this is called the City Chic Palette. That's really pretty. Ooh, look at that. Cool. All right, so lots of kind of like nudes, and then there's like a gold shimmer down here. You'd think that there would maybe be like a mirror. So it's really weird that it looks like that and there's no mirror. I'm just full of complaints today. I'm sorry, but that is very off-putting. Like normally when you get a palette like this, if it's not clear plastic, they at least put like a mirror or something reflective on here. It just feels... Like it's missing something. I do like the packaging, nonetheless. This is, I like the like spray paint kind of logo. Really cool. 
definitely different. This is the, oh lord, um, Alikia <laughs> Beauty. It says it's a liquid blush. I, again, I can't pronounce anything and I know my camera's not picking up, kind of. But, I don't know why I smell that. I smell everything. Like, I, <laughs> I open it up and I instinctually just sniff it. <laughs> Lastly, in the Babe box is this thing, and it just looks really cool. I don't know what it is, but this is, it says Illuminati on it, and it has this really crazy-ass packaging, and I love it. Oh, it's a mascara. Like, I need another mascara, but oh my god, this packaging is so cool! I can get all the plastic off. Ooh, look at that wand. Mm. I'm a sucker for big wands. This is just really pretty. So aesthetically pleasing. Like, oh, look at that. I'd like to, like, drill a hole through the top and, like, wear it as, like, a big-ass necklace. Like, that is super cool. All right. So, through all of my complaints, <laughs> I do enjoy the box. It is really cool. I'm, I'm excited to try these nice new items. But this box um, is $29.95, and that is more than I pay on any of my beauty boxes and it, it, as one beauty box. Obviously, you know, if you watch my videos, I have many beauty box subscriptions, but I've never paid more than $25 for a box, and even that is kind of stretching it, except for the ultimate that I paid for for October, but that was a splurge on myself. That's not something that I plan on doing a lot if any more at all I I mean I like the December for that but that's for a different video um it is just a wee bit expensive and for the items that I got I don't think it's worth the $29.95 and I could be wrong you know I'm still fresh to the subscription so I could just be complaining but I'm not the biggest fan, so I may not get any more after this unless I can get like a good deal on them. Because like I said, $30 for one box is just a little excessive. I mean, I, I could be getting some pretty high-end items and I could be still making like my money back or not spending a whole lot to begin with. But again, with all my subscriptions, I'm still spending, you know, X amount of money you guys get it. I don't need to explain it to you. So nonetheless, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you have anything you want me to try, please let me know below. And I love you guys.